Good morning. I picked a good day to have a deposition because it's, uh, well, raining. <laughs> Not that that stopped me before. Uh, I can very uh, briefly tell you that what I think is interesting right now continues to be the shooting in Boulder, Colorado. Uh, not just because of how heinous and horrific it is, but the question of will this time be different? Will this time the Congress outlaw you know, these weapons of destruction? Uh, this time will they do checks or will they wring their hands, talk about thoughts and prayers and do nothing? And that's, that's the really risky thing here. Uh, Biden, who has been involved in the past in the gun issue when he was on the Hill as a senator, it says now is the time to do something. There are members of Congress who want to do something. But I worked on the uh, Columbine matter back in 99, when Congress then was considering legislation. And we found that in the Democratic caucus, uh, we didn't have uniformity there. We had some Democrats get up in the caucus, meaning that all the Democrats meet together. And as I was working the issue and was special counsel, I was in that caucus. And people like Dingell were resisting gun reform and he was going out, leaving our caucus and working with the Republicans. So in the end, he was compromising the bill. And it was a it was a big deal. They tried to deflect it by saying it had to do with what was being shown on TV and uh, you know images of violence rather than associating the removal of the weapons from people, no matter how they acted otherwise, so that they didn't have these weapons to commit this mass destruction. So that's, uh, that's where we are today. Now, uh, I wouldn't have held a lot of hope up given what we saw was the non-reaction to last year's protests and demonstrations about systemic racism. But Biden uh, appears to be interested in being a lot more than just a way station in the White House to return to normalcy. He wants to leave a legacy that America can be proud of. He wants to restore the nation. And uh, as much as racism is one of our original sins, violence is another. And so, and, they, and they're often intertwined as, we, as we've seen. And we don't yet know about Boulder and uh, you know, the, these other instances, what the motivation was. But putting the motivation aside, uh, it's pretty hard to do a drive-by knifing. And so if we take away the weapons of destruction, we improve our chances of avoiding these terrible, terrible incidents. America is trying to find its soul. And what I notice about the uh, coverage these days is, and I don't, I'm not saying this critically, I think it's true. Uh, the good news is kind of that the, the media is looking for what it talks about. And with uh, Trump, it was always a train wreck and that got eyes to the screen. But we have things going on that in a way are much more basic and much more important than the autocratic impulses of the former chief executive. So I, I'm encouraged by what Biden says. I mean, he, he is a president who goes out and tries to give comfort to people uh, in times of distress. And he's a president who wants to find remedies and solutions. And I think the Democrats uh, under Schumer believe that, and I know it's true under Pelosi in the House. And the question is, how will that 50 line up in the Senate? And what will they do about the uh, filibuster in order to make these changes, which are necessary? So I might normally, if I was on the road, say, uh, you know, you should get out and <laughs> get around. Well, the rain's occasional, and you can be sure that I would be out in it if I could be. Uh, I may be in a deposition for five or six hours today, uh, and that's what I do. And uh, we'll be using, uh, uh, doing it at a distance, and uh, I'll be hidden away in my office, and I won't associate with people, and my office has taken precautions, but I still work from home. So uh, be well today and uh, hope for the best in the, the Congress because that's where the solution remains, but that's not where it's been found in the past, and I'm hoping now we have a change. So all the best. Take care. Bye-bye.